And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Is It Storm combo. This deck was pretty crazy the last time that we played it. We're going to bring it back and we're going to play it in ranked. Uh, we talked about that last time that we thought that the deck felt pretty powerful and wanted to send it over there. As you can see, I'm changing two things. We had one Chemist's Insight and one Precognitive Perception at the top end to draw more cards. But I think that we have enough card draw between Explosion, Gadwick, you know, Opt with with uh, Ral and stuff like that. But we needed a little bit more removal in there. So I took those out and I'm putting in a couple Scorching Dragonfires. Um, I, I kind of wanted to split Lava Coil and Dragonfire. It's nice to have the instant speed stuff, which is what Dragonfire is. But of course, Lava Coil can kill um, Questing Beast and Nightpack Ambusher, both of those being pretty important. So I didn't want to just only have Dragonfire. Um, so we're kind of splitting those up. But yeah, what our deck's about, I guess I, guess I could have started with this. What our deck's about um, is we're trying to combo off with uh, Ral Storm Conduit. Um, Storm's a mechanic in Magic. If you're kind of an, a newer player in Magic, uh, Storm is a is just a mechanic that um, has been around for a long time. It's been a, probably the, the main combo deck in just Magic's history. There's Storm and Modern and Legacy and Vintage, um, where you're basically trying to cast a lot of spells in one turn. How this deck this deck can play infinite spells in a turn and do infinite damage to the opponent. That's what we're trying to set up. How it works is you need Ral Storm Conduit in play because you need the top part. You need the passive ability. The plus and the minus don't really matter. The passive ability is what matters. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, it deals one damage to the opponent or planeswalker. And the, the key part is they're copying. So each time, because we'll, we're going to copy a spell over and over and over again. So each time we copy, we deal one damage. That's how we kill our opponent. Um, what we're copying is we're copying expansion because expansion says copy target instant or sorcery spell with CMC four or less. You may choose new targets. So we need we need an expansion on the stack, and then we need to cast another expansion to copy the first expansion. Is how it works. Is you have a, an expansion on the stack, and it's it's not super easy to get expansion on the stack. You need another spell. So like because you can't just play expansion. You can't just play this with nothing on the stack. You can't just be like, all right, I'm going to just cast expansion. No, because you have to target an instant or sorcery spell. So you, we had to have an instant or sorcery on the stack. So it's got, you know, like an opt, a shock, you know, any of these cards can basically all be instants or sorceries. Have one of those on the stack, and then you play expansion to copy it. And then you have to play a second expansion to copy the first expansion. Because when you copy the first expansion, you get a new copy of expansion. So you get a new expansion, and it just says copy target instant or sorcery spell. And you're like, well, I'll just copy the first one again, and you just get a new one. And you can just do that infinitely. Um, if you don't have a Ral in play, you can just do that infinitely until you time out if you want. <laughs> you know, that's just an infinite combo. But with Ral in play, um, each time you do that, it does one damage to the opponent each time you copy. So you just keep on doing that over and over. They take one until they die. That's the, that's the goal of our deck. You know, we have a uh, a backup plan with our adventure creatures to be attacking with them, you know, Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher, Giant, Gadwick, kind of like Is It Flash. Um, so that's like our backup plan, but we're going to hopefully combo people. All right, so let's let's give this a try. So Is It Storm combo, we'll play some ranked with it, traditional standard ranked. Here we go. Basically, recently we've played so many Orzhov decks, so many Abzan decks. We haven't been playing very much blue and red. And so I wanted to play a blue-red deck. And then I was like, oh, well, we had the Is It Storm combo deck the other day that's blue-red. Let's play that. <laughs> we need more Thopters. Get the Jeskai Storm. That's right. I forgot about that deck. Yeah, the Jeskai um, Thousand Year Storm where we deployed the Thoptas. That was a fun deck. Hey, Rochian. Um, Muldratha Burn is is just like mono red burn splashing for Muldratha. Well, I play the Grixis Alliance in best of three. I um, we did play that deck in best of three a, a while ago, probably like two months ago. If you missed that video, um, I don't know if 
I'd say it's pretty doubtful they'll play in best of three because 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 of me being gone uh, for the upcoming days, and then um, the new set's about to come out. Love to resolve Ralph Storm Conduit. Don't know how realistic that is. Probably not very realistic. All right, then the deck. Get a land out. So I basically wouldn't mind if they countered the shock. That's why I let them... Yeah, that's why I went ahead and passed to their turn, because I wouldn't mind if they... If they countered shock. How am I going to get this Ralph Storm Conduit to resolve? That's the good question. That's like the big question there. Well, it's going to resolve, but they have Gadwick to resolve, so. They're going to have all the cards. You're messing up my equation. I wonder what the weather's like on Ixalan. Hmm. I mean, it's better than a random card, I guess. Maybe not. Could only draw three cards if I would have just cast Explosion. Yeah, our sideboard's very good for this matchup. That's true. You know, getting Niv Mizzet per rune. Do you think that is it? Flash decks usually ha like do they usually have Niv Mizzet in the sideboard? Maybe. Sh Maybe Chandra? Like what what's their what are, what are like stock is it flash players usually playing over in their sideboard?
Okay, we've kind of turned, you know, we're, we're back to like the same ballpark as number of cards as them. We're in the same ballpark. Uh, how are we supposed to expansion one of the dragon fires to save Rel? All we do is copy. Doesn't stop the drag. Doesn't stop the dragon fire from resolving. Thinking of Narcissus Reversal, gotcha. <laughs> A wizard fight. Yeah, it is kind of just endless cards on both sides. Hmm. Bounce Gadwick. Where are my lands? Um, yeah, Muldrotha Burn, it's being uploaded right now. It'll be done in 15, 20 minutes, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but it's being uploaded right now. Seems like maybe they have a third Gadwick. Yep. Didn't want to trade earlier. Really close to killing them. I needed I needed to draw one I needed to draw expansion here and they would have been dead. But right now, let's see. They're at nine. So that's six. Seven, eight, nine. Wait, maybe maybe they are still dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. Oh, it was actually 10. 
Oh, because the the expansion copied, so I get I get a cast and a copy. I get an extra one, right? All right, let's get a couple of negates, a couple of disputes. Ionize Niv. Sick newbie. Awesome, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat for our new sub. Thank you so much for that support. All right, and I like Dragonfire. You know, like three damage is pretty important. What else are we cutting? All these cards are good. I mean, I could just cut two Rao or a Bone Crusher Rao. We also get damage whenever we cast stuff. So we also cast. Uh, two cards. We also cast a shock and an expansion, so that's how that's the extra two points of damage. We'll just do one Ral, one giant. Yeah, you get to do a damage whenever you cast or copy. I think this could be fine. All right, I kind of forgot about that card. Need another blue mana. Yay. Make them fight on their own turn. So the Brian Born cutthroat doesn't grow. Now if they want to bounce Niv Mizzet, we kill Cutthroat. Gotta be a, a feels bad. The dragon wizard. 
If we're in a in a wizard fight, might as well have a dragon wizard. If you're gonna be in a wizard fight. <laughs> I mean, like their only card they can play is like Gadwick, right? But then still. Alright, do I have lethal? Can I do 20? Probably not. Nah. Yeah, don't bring a wizard into a dragon wizard fight. Rank up. Is it storm combo? Yeah, like do they do they not play Niv in their sideboard? And if not, what are they doing? What are they doing with their life if they don't play Niv in their sideboard? Yeah, because Niv is such a powerhouse, that's true. Um, What are we putting back? I mean, this is a keep. I guess it's the Ral. Could be Borrower. No, probably not Borrower. CK Watt, a brand new tier one sub. That is awesome. Welcome to the stream, CK. Um, well, I need them not to play the ramp card this turn. All right, get that out of here. It's our fourth sub of the day. I want to bounce the clover and then counter it on the way back. Ugh. I guess these five fives are going to kill me. Definitely another Niv matchup. Yeah, if there weren't five fives. Life would be easier. I can't. <clears throat> can't beat that.
Basically, the, the thing the borrower does is let me bounce Lucky Clover. Okay, let's give this a try again. Scry. Hey, Craig Gasme. Yeah, I play some historic sometimes. Yeah, like I. Yeah, I mean, um, what I recommend. Yeah, if you you want to find more historic content, check out the YouTube channel. There's a playlist of just historic decks. Um, like today, the Muldratha Burn that we played. Basically, any deck that has an H by it is historic. We don't have any more historic for today. But yeah, I kind of play like basically like around like one historic deck a day or so. So yeah, check out that playlist with all the historic decks. There's a lot of good stuff there. I think I need to get aggressive. That's what we're gonna do here. Hey, Bertalux, good evening. going to go ahead and just fetch right now in case um you know I, I don't really need to respond by by fetching in case they play something else i don't know we'll just do it right now don't really have any reason to wait So I can basically cast expansion to kill their Bone Crusher Giant right now. But I'd take two. 
I have to play it and take two. Yeah, or the flame sweep. I think I think saving flame sweeps more important. Well, should have done it. Should have killed the bunker giant. Oh come on! I can add Gavwick last turn. Should have expansion, gotten that Bone Crusher Giant out of there. That would have been one less card, and you know now this Bone Crusher Giant's a huge problem. To be honest, like they had so many lands over there, I thought that that, like I don't know, I guess I wasn't really thinking they were gonna be playing the Bone Crusher Giant that turn. Also, like they already used, like I thought they played a land and they used their red mana, but no, they hadn't played a land yet. They got to use their red mana, so that was just the wrong decision by me. Yeah, you can you can copy. Yeah, you can you can go sweep, copy, sweep. Um, I I needed five mana to do that, but yeah, I could have done that. I went with drawing a card. But I need to find Rao. I need to combo kill them. Okay. Wait, so I need to play... Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't have the mana. I don't have the mana to do all this next turn. Hmm. How are we gonna pull this off? I'm basically thinking, how am I, how am I going to get this Beanstalk Giant to not kill me the previous turn, the next turn? I mean, like when I'm when I'm playing Ral, how am I gonna get this Beanstalk Giant to not kill me? It's obviously not gonna kill me this turn. 
This turn I'm fine. It's not this turn I'm worried about. They have to have a land in hand and they have to draw land. If, like if they have any spells, I'm I'm very dead, obviously. Which they're acting like they have spells. So they're acting like they have Brazen Borrower. My plan was going to be to Flame Sweep on Upkeep and not copy Flame Sweep. Because I couldn't really kill Gadwick, because I need to keep Gadwick out there to be able to tap the 8-8. So I was just going to flame sweep on upkeep to kill the 2-2. Two -two. But then I was also going to opt and copy opt to tap their two creatures. That left that would have left me with drawing Ral and then two expansions in hand, plus like whatever I found with the other opt. Um, I would have had to find another blue instant, which it could have just been an, an expansion, but then I wouldn't have enough to combo. It was... This is going to be tough. Why not copy their borrower? Because I was dead. And it didn't matter. There was not a way for me to survive from two life, even with copying borrower. I'd like to be able to go Dragonfire with Expansion. You know, I'd like to copy Dragonfire, considering the rest of our hands. Okay, well, I can just have Expansion copy Shock. No, we'll still do that. We'll shock this. I want to have Dragonfire exile gutter bones. Or we got to kill that. Stop drawing these lands. Yeah, this is a difficult deck to pilot. Okay, we're in a tough spot. They have a 2-1 and a 1-1, and I'm at 14. And they're drawing some more cards. And I got a bunch of nothing. Oh, maybe, maybe I should have let them have Stormfist Crusader because of how little cards I have. Brazen Borrower did it. Something. <laughs> Danger only makes field research more interesting. Uh, 
whatever I draw right now, it's got to be something good. Okay. That helps keep me alive a little bit longer. I'll take that. Okay. Um... Kill that thing. I should draw something real good. Probably Gadwick. Seven sixes are difficult to deal with. All right, more removal. I don't know. I I just I shouldn't have used my brazen borrower so early. I guess I just didn't have anything else in hand. But brazen borrower is like how you kill the seven six, like with the trigger on the stack, you just bounce it. Get rid of negate eye and eyes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so I, I use I use the brazen too early. I think we'll draw other lands. Like, you know, we'll draw lands. I don't have to worry too much about my fourth land right now. In fact, I'm so confident that we're going to draw lands, I want to start just cracking these Fable Passages to take lands out of my deck. Okay, we, we don't... <laughs> you don't have to prove my point deck by just giving me more lands, though. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, definitely assuming Black Lance Paragon here. Would have been a good time for a Flame Sweep. Go crush some bones, giant. Boo. Opponent controls. Boo. Hmm. 
possible I don't kill those because of Niv Mizzet? No, probably not. Oh. Now you decide to show up, Flame Sweep. Um. So they want to cast like another swift end or any kind of instant or sorcery, then we kill the crusader. So I'm trying to incentivize them not to cast an instant or sorcery. Pretty good. I'll be surprised if we lose this. Discard a card, go ahead. Yeah. Doomblade Borrower. Raisin Doomblade. And this game is pretty over. Lava coils, cleaning it up. We'll just go more tappy on the Fervent Champion. Good job, Gadwick. All right, but we're on the draw for game three. Could definitely use one of those flame sweeps. Definitely use one of those flame sweeps. Niv Mizzet looked really, really strong there, but we'd already basically stabilized. I don't really want a, a second Niv Mizzet. I don't want to get stuck with like two Niv Mizzets early on in my hand. Uh, preferably get have zero Niv Mizzets early on in my hand. Okay. We'll take it a bunch of two mana removal. Yeah, Flames, we can, can clean that up, but I don't want them drawing more cards. No draw cards for you. And no deal damage to me. Don't have the black mana to... Um...
I don't think they'll have a spawn of mayhem. Like something that we really need that fourth point. So we're gonna play the sorcery. Hold up the instant. <laughs> that was quick. I guess that thing's going to be difficult to deal with. Kind of. Actually, probably not that... Maybe not that bad. Yeah, we're good. Because basically, like, they're going to have to activate their knight. And whenever they activate their knight, then I can pounce and dragon fire it. If they drop another land, though, and then they have six mana... That makes my life more difficult. Oh, they did have Spawn of Mayhem. Well, how about that? Do I want to trade Bone Crusher Giant for Spawn of Mayhem? Not really. Yeah, it was all a ruse. Um, I guess I could just trade. It's probably the cleanest thing. Okay. Or we won't trade. You think there's no way they would trade that? Well, now I get bounce plus copy bounce. Like, what's their plan? Is their plan to cast Bone Crusher Giant with that? Bounce, copy, bounce. All right, we're two and one. Expansion's just an awesome card. Yeah, they, they definitely had to block. They had, by not blocking, they just put themselves dead. but they were still going to be pretty dead. Really? Four mountains? How many mountains we have in this deck? Five? Blech. Four of them right here? It's a pretty bad looking hand. Looks like we're playing against Is It Flash again, though. And so I like my sideboard against Is It Flash. Even though we're probably not going to win game one because we're on five cards.
All right, I guess we gotta do stuff because the Castle of Antris. I don't know why I should let them scry first and then and then play that. I let them untap there so that if they wanted to fight over it, they weren't going to be growing the Brazen Borrower. So I also thought that by doing that, I also kind of portrayed strength and that they wouldn't be fighting over it either. Negating this because it's Bone Crusher Giant. If it was like Shock, I wouldn't negate it. But Bone Crusher Giant, I want to. Um, keep them from having a Bone Crusher Giant. Cool. So we just turned a Negate into getting rid of a Quench and a Bone Crusher Giant. That's pretty awesome. And suddenly we're not really down very many cards. Kite. Yeah, ba basically Lux. Yeah, I. So Lux asks, why did I shock on turn three if I was if I wasn't gonna play Borrower? I mean, I may have played Borrower. It it kind of depends on what happened with with what they were doing, uh, whether or not I was gonna be playing the Borrower. So it was possible I was gonna play Borrower. Is their last card gonna be a counter spell? I hope not. I wanna I wanna fire off this explosion for two and draw two cards. Maybe hit a land drop. Wow. So I wanna do it on my turn to maybe get a land. Would have been so much better. Hey, Trojan Rage. Thanks for keeping on that tier one sub. Six awesome months now. Saying I get a little better watching you play sometimes. I seem to get them. I seem to get the mythic level players in gold, and you get people that make stupid decisions in mythic. Yeah, it happens. It happens. We're all just magic players everywhere. Mythic doesn't necessarily mean better, it means that you play more. You know, like if. You know, like the more you play. Um, from one mana short, they didn't have that silly counter spell. One mana short from dropping Rao, copy shock, and then Bone Crusher Giant also to kill Hellkite. I don't really see any good lines. Yeah, I think just four, I guess four mana, gain six life, scry one. It's not a good line, but I don't have any good lines. <laughs> so that's all I got. Everyone complains to me about the weather.
You like this card? Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Hmm. Sorry, Rail. You need to do that one first. So that if they counter, then I still have two damage left. Still got a big advantage because of the Vantress and even having the Blast Zone is not bad either. Well, now this game is basically over. Unless I draw my own Gadwick. Okay, I guess I could get my own Gadwick. They're still getting more cards than me, but we're trying. Get him, Bone Crusher. Get him. Right. Usually Wizards has stories on their... For a lot of sets, they, they just had uh, stories on their website about the lore. War of the Spark, they published a book and published a follow-up. Um last fall as well but if you know just typing in like just like I don't know the exact link or anything so just Google search like MTG lore um, you know, wizards has a lot of stuff Not back to every single set ever. I, like maybe back to like Magic Origins or something like that. Um, yeah. I mean, I there's, I heard from some people like here in chat that they like they liked the War Book. They didn't think it was that bad. That that people were being too harsh on it. That it it wasn't you know like a a masterpiece or anything like that, but wait, I think I cut one giant one in Ral. I'm flying. Yeah, I'd take I'd have to take a lot more time off to, than than those days if I was driving. So we'll go get island first.
Don't need more lands. I didn't read the book, but I've read it, you know, some of the, the lore stories for different sets um, from the Wizards website, and I've I've enjoyed those. Like, like the Ixlon was good. So we do have to force the action. Kind of wish I would have copied. Kind of wish I would have copied the opt. Just going with the tried and true control strategy of continue to hit land drops. Make the other person basically go to discard. Surprised they're not putting any kind of counters on the, the blast zone at all or anything if they're not doing anything else. Yeah, that's that's true, Lux. It would. Yeah, if, if you... If I cast opt, then I try to counter, then I try to copy. You do this before the Brineborn Cutthroat starts growing. Yay. Countering creatures with negates. It's 2020, y'all. Do they have a third dispute in That's hand? That'd be a huge bummer. I don't have that.
decisions, yep. decisions. All right, so Ral's probably going to take over. Um, what could they have that's better? What could they have that's better than Gadwick? Problem here is Rao minus. Ops. One more opt. I really like my deck in, in against other Izzet decks, but Punna just had this one. always comes back to haunt you. Well, maybe it's not over. So, I have lethal here if they don't have a counter spell. Problem is if they have a counter spell. Okay, sweet. That's exactly what I wanted. But now I don't want them to have a second. So now if they have a second counter spell, that's going to be great for them. But if they don't, we have lethal. Come on, resolve. Just have two removal spells in hand. Or land and removal. Nah. Darn. So close. So close to killing them. Could have dealt two damage to their is it Viceroy instead of them. I guess I probably should have. Peak. The weight is killing me. Uh, double ionize. 
I, I should shock in here first. Experiments are mostly successful, except for that one. No, no, Fluky, that does not mean my opponent is sniping. Yeah, seal. Yeah, okay, there you go. You got, you got the answer there. Yeah, seal tokens mean you get to join in sealed events. Decision time. I'm really surprised they did not blast zone my row. Better watch out. There's a storm. Like, they did not just pop it on their turn. They just let me activate. So now I get to minus and I get an additional opt. I'm still just going upstairs trying to get as much damage as I can in. Never had, like, enough damage that even if I would have started to kill their realm. Yeah, it was definitely a mistake by them for waiting. Hey, Candace. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? How's life? Mine has been incredibly busy. I've been meaning to message you back. in the process of buying a house and I have to have my taxes done before and well let's see what the wind blows in I'm flying tomorrow as you can see here to look at houses and it's super busy I haven't even seen the, like the the spoilers for today before stream I didn't even see any previews Bone Crusher Giant fight. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. So we're trying to fight through millions of rail activations. Need to get three more damage in.
Definitely want to cast this before Rao ultimate. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Candice. Yeah, go ahead and update that. Correct, Monty. Yeah, I'll be doing a set review after that. So probably, I mean, that, that doesn't leave us much time to do the set review. So, I mean, maybe Sunday or Monday. Um, yeah, maybe we do a longer set review on Sunday. You know, like maybe I, I start early and we, we stay late and maybe that's what we do all day Sunday. Because I think all the card reviews will be finished this week. I think. Yeah, their upkeep is just the time to cast stuff because it doesn't trigger cutthroat. It doesn't, you know, before they ultimate rally, they didn't ultimate rally this last last turn. I kind of I went for it all with the expansion turn. You know, they had the multiple counters that turn, but I went for it all then. We got them to empty their hand before they Rowl ultimated. If I activate Castle here, I'll have five mana. Not enough if I have, like, expansion or something like that. Not enough. Hold this lightning rod. Thanks. I could just draw and just hope I have a 1 in 28 chance of drawing explosion. There's only one explosion left that would kill them. I guess make that a 1 in 24 chance. It's probably not a very good chance. Well, Niv's good. So I play Niv and then I and then I shock. That can do three damage. If if it resolves, if they don't have a counter spell for the shock. Even if they have a counter spell for the shock, that does an extra one damage and a draw card. No better time than now.
Niv Mizaparoon. So they get for not ultimating. Wow. Yeah, that was a game. All right, so I got to worry about five mana Ral is it Viceroy. How did we win when they activated Ral as Viceroy like 12 times? I got so many extra cards. How did we win? I don't really want to play Brazen Borrower still. I take out two shocks for two either guys. I don't I don't know why they didn't ultimate honestly. I mean, I don't think that they were in in range of decking themselves. Honestly, I don't think they were. I definitely think they should have. Get him, Giant. All right, well, Giant traded with two cards and dealt him two damage. It's the best a Bone Crusher Giant can be. Gadwick's going to be good. Of course, I want to play Niv Mizza Peru next turn. I'm not sure about that, honestly. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure about that either, Gust, putting that to the bottom. If this doesn't work with killing Gadwick and then they kill my Niv Mizzet, I'm probably going to need something else to deal with the Gadwick. Ether Gust? No. No more Ether Gust. Yeah, Expansion Explosion's awesome. It's probably my favorite card in the deck. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's dead. Good job, Rao. Man, what a victory. What a victory. Yeah, I mean, that was like their only hope is blast zoning Niv, I think. Once they use that Aether Gust. <laughs> I mean, Niv's my favorite card in that matchup, for sure. But just, like, overall in the deck, like, ex Expansion Explosion, so versatile and everything. It's a pretty cool card. This deck has a lot of versatility. That is definitely something it has. It makes it a difficult deck to play. Tough call here playing mountain or steam vents. Yeah. There you go. Changed. No problem, Kendis. The old turn one scry getting me again. Scry negate to the top. And we're playing against red black aggro. start getting some of these cards out of their hand. Killing that 1-1 one, one meant that they couldn't just go Red Source Ember Cleave. Fine. No biggie. I was like the perfect card having a, a one mana card. <clears throat> I didn't kill the bunk the gutter bones because they could just pick it back up. All right, so. My choices for staying alive here are not much. It's like a borrower bounce gutter bones. They discard gutter bones. 
Like, how, how does it play out that I actually win? I think I'd rather just not play Borrower and not have Borrower as much on their radar for this future game. I'm I'm really just dead there. <clears throat> Mold to six and then had you know had negates or basically on five cards and I was just dead. All right, same sideboard we did last time. Yep, playing limited, doing drafting and uh, sealed will get you farther overall if you're just trying to get every single card in the entire set. But that is a, a very long process, and no, not everybody wants to spend all the time playing limited, so it's okay to buy packs too. What are these hands? Yeah, these hands are gross. I mean, it's just gonna be too difficult to win at five cards, honestly. That was a pretty rough ending. I mean, now that hand wasn't any good, just... It, it had potential to be good, you know, if we would have drawn lands, had potential. You know, draw one one island, then that turns on our ops, and, and so on. Had potential. Ugh, I wish I didn't keep that negate that first turn. The fir you know, that game one, scry, keep negate, and then play against... Red, black, aggro. So that's how it was. Um, anyway, yeah, this this deck's a lot of fun to play. It's it's not too easy to play, but I think it's pretty powerful. I like it more than regular. Is it flash? Um, you know, you have like that combo uh, part in your deck that you can just win games. We actually didn't get to combo ever through this round, which shows you, you don't need to have the combo. I absolutely love Nev Mizzet against the other flash decks. Um, but I, I like the change that we made, though. You know, like, we had, like, the two more expensive blue cards. Taking those out, putting in Dragon Fires. I think that's a good good change. Um, could see putting another... I don't know, another red spell in here? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this deck. Pretty comfortable we're, with where it's at. Um... Yeah, we didn't get to play too much magic there that last game, but that, that happens sometimes. All right, so is it Storm Combo? Pretty awesome deck here. So those of you all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, leave those comments. If you're playing this deck yourself, let me know how it's going for you. You know, keep me updated. Um, let me know, you know, if you, how much you like the deck, all that kind of stuff. Leave those comments over on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching. Some is the Storm Combo, and I'll see you for the next video.